So how does this wind up in our food? How does it get to our, I mean, my mom would never let us have any of this stuff, any of it, never. Well, Jello. How did this end up on our breakfast table, our dinner table? What happened to the government's mandate of keeping you safe? You remember that contract between the government and Moderna for mRNA and that old vaccine thing? It's weird because you're going to find this eerily similar. So here's how it works out. Let's say I'm a food company. I, I'm running Beck Foods and I want to make some yellow, little yellow, yummy breakfast loops. Uh, and I want it neon yellow because it'll make the kids scream to their parents. I want that when they pass in the grocery store and I'm going to need some food dye. Well, that's going to need FDA approval on every single batch. Now, luckily, here at Peck Foods, I'm pretty close to the FDA. We're like this. You see, I pay the FDA salaries through something called user fees. See, user fee. Here's the FDA. And there's a fence right there. You were not, let me tell you, that site, of course, I could get over here and I could get right directly to the FDA. <clears throat> but I'm, I'm paying them user fees, okay? And I do that so they can regulate the dye that I want in my cereal. Now you'll say, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're paying the manufacturer, the guy, you're, pay the, you're paying the watchdogs to watch you? You pay their salaries? Yeah, yeah, that's the way it works, you know. Me and the other food manufacturers, we pay about 46% of the FDA budget. I mean... It's mostly Big Pharma who funds the 6,500 jobs at the FDA, but the rest of it's the food company, so we're good. What could possibly go wrong? What are you, what are you a conspiracy theorist? So anyway, I go to the FDA for approval, and they're like, uh, we, don't, we don't test any of that. What are you talking about? You have to prove the food is safe. And you're like, oh my gosh. Wait, I can hire the scientists? I mean, they could have a clown wig on and a big red nose, and I get to produce the science behind this? FDA is like, yeah, because you're trustworthy, aren't you? Well, yeah, here at Beck Food, we're not poisoning the kids with that at all. We're not giving them ADHD or anything like that. I want to provide them with something wholesome that glows in the dark. And so I go to my clown scientist, and, and he says, it's great, you know? And he just, yep, it's great. Yummy yellow number five. And then I pay a bunch of money to the FDA so they can read that from the clown and then uh, rubber stamp it. Now, it's a beautiful relationship. I mean, it is a little taxing. I have to drive a lot of money to the FDA because... You know, they make the money giving the screaming kids their first box of yellow glowing cereal um, that makes them go nuts, you know. Uh, but, but I have to drive another truck full of money to the FDA every time I make a new batch. Then they have to say, well, did your clown sign it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, he did. Boom. Money. Okay, you can make another batch of that cereal. That's how it works. This is how you get to potential chemical poisoning of Americans. Now, I don't know. This doesn't seem like a safety thing. You know what I mean? Uh, it, really, it really doesn't. Um, I mean, if we look at it from the top of the chalkboard, you can read it for yourself, quote, manufacturers are required to supply the FDA with evidence that establishes each chemical is safe at the intended level of use before it may be added to foods. Oh, okay, so the burden of proof to determine whether or not their food is dangerous is actually the guy trying to turn his product into profit, not the governmental organization whose job it is to keep us safe. And remember, it's just for his food. He could be making all of these food, all these foods, but if he's only testing it for yellow number seven, no, that's not. But if yellow is in all of these, that might be a bit too much, wouldn't it? Wait a minute, is this going to cause cancer? No. For like, sure it won't. Trust us. By the way, 
Did we show you our revenue projections for next quarter? And the FDA, FDA gets a lot of that too. Come on. Now I would think the government would have some incentive to make sure we're not getting chemically poisoned. I'm sure it does, but I mean, money doesn't talk, it screams. Which brings me to the next part on the chalkboard, user fees. Again, read it yourself, users fees. Quote, the Food and Drug Administration, FDA, relies on funding from two sources to support its regular activities, user fees and budget appropriations, and user fees paid by the industry. For food dyes specifically, quote, manufacturers pay fees based on the weight of each batch, and these fees support the FDA's color certification program. Doesn't that sound like bull crap? Let's just call this for what it really is, okay? Because if, if I'm looking at this, let's say I'm a, I'm a cartel, not like a drug cartel cartel, just a mob-run cartel, okay? If the mob exists, which we all know it doesn't. And I'm like this cartel, and I'm like, I'm going to make food. Uh, I'm gonna make, in fact, I'm going to make cocaine for babies food. And I was just gonna mix a little cocaine. Now I wouldn't mix a lot in there. I just to write them out uh, for cocaine's co cocaine. So if they have this, the babies are safe. Now not if they're eating it every day, you know, and eating other stuff with cocaine in it. But m my food is absolutely safe. So I go to my clown scientists and I'm like. Hey, can you write up something that says the cocaine is safe in baby food? And they're like, absolutely. How much money? You give them the money, they come up with a study, and then you give money and the study to the FDA, and the FDA is like, all right, cocaine for babies it is. That's a bribe. That's all this is, is bribery. The, manufacturing, the, the manufacturers who are putting these chemicals into our foods are the ones supplying the totally safe data. Then they pay for fees and the FDA is like that's right we're not I didn't see anything cancer schmancer I don't know what you're even talking about that's a lucrative relationship strangely as was the vaccines in fiscal year 2022 user fees represented 2.9 billion dollars of the FDA's total budget of 6.2 billion nearly half of the entire budget from the FDA is coming from big food and big pharma now, that sounds a little like a conflict to, of interest to me, but, and it doesn't sound like their primary concern is for your health, but more about their bottom line. Curiously enough, there has only been one presidential administration in re recent memory who's tried to do anything about any of these additives going into our food supply. I know you know which one, right? Jimmy... <sighs> Couldn't have been Ray, a, a click, click. No. Um, Donald J. Trump in 2018. Hmm. The only one. Boy, I wonder why they hate him. I mean, all those companies that just despise him. The people, you know, at the FDA and all of those agencies that just hate Donald Trump, I bet it's because of, ooh, wait a minute. Sorry, it's just so addicting. I bet it's because he's racist. You know what I mean? This election has so many implications. I can't remember an election that is more, ooh, hang on. I'm sorry, but it's the, it's the flavor. Um, wait a minute. That was blueberry, because it was blue. This one's orange soy. Tastes exactly like the blueberry one. This one's purple. And that tastes just like the orange one. I think this might be a scam. I know I've said this every election, and I've always said that I hate it, but it always seems like it is really, really important. This is not the most important election of my lifetime. This is the last election for the republic known as a constitutional America. Uh, and it's going to decide how our kids live, 
how our kids eat, how our kids make money, how our kids spend money. The left always likes to speak in hyperbole about their issues. I showed you the statistics just a minute ago. People are actually getting sick and dying. I don't know, I kind of care about that. Don't you? But it also goes to the soul of the country that I spoke about at the beginning of the show. We, we don't continue as a country that colludes with entities like Big Food and Big Pharma who are making themselves rich and putting shiny little fishing lures out that our kids get stuck on.